Well, here is the 7.3. Um, I wasn't originally going to tear it down, but after finding um, Try and get the focus there. Ended up having nine bad lobes on the camshaft. Or, I mean, they're, that one's coming apart. That one's pretty dang bad. Anyways, so we're looking at a complete rebuild on this one. Um, it sucks, but you know, it is what it is. That's what you get for buying used engines. And used takeout engines are not always good. Um, this just happens. I mean, it's hard to find a good used takeout 7.3 for less than three or 4,000. It's at least in my area. But anyway, so um, just, it was just a quick little update on it. Um, everything looks good. The crankshafts and... Um, Everything with the crankshaft's good. It needs to be polished, but other than that, it's okay. And the block is good. It's reusable. Just throw that there, but this is my little... And I had somehow or another... Um, this cylinder here, which is cylinder five... Yes, one, three, five. Um, so the injector bore is rusted as well. Like an injector was left out of it for a period of time. I'm not sure, but it's got a big bore 10 as well. But um, yeah, it's a pretty sweet little engine stand here. It handles the 7.3 nicely, even um, when it's fully decked at a thousand pounds. But um, yeah, this is the bottom end of a 7.3. I still got to knock the cam bearings out. All the main and rod bearings were in the um, in the copper. They were this engine was flat wore out simply because people did not change the oil and maintain it correctly, um, and it had less than two hundred thousand miles. Is the sad part. But anyways, it's going to be going to the machine shop here soon, and um, once I receive it back from the machine shop, I'll start the in-depth process of rebuilding and resealing everything, so.